Hello everyone, you call the Bandless Jester here, and I would like to welcome you to the next installment of King of the Bandlist, a series in which I will be taking various Bandless production videos and comparing them to the actual Bandlist published by Konami. By doing so, we will finally determine who actually has an uncle at Konami's HQ, is working for them, or has the ability to get into the brain of people responsible for the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. That person will be dubbed King of the Bandlist, and will have the honor of sitting on the Bandlist throne. Some of you might want wonder what I want to accomplish with this. I actually ask myself this, the same question every bandless season. Before we get to that, a little explanation on how am I going to determine the winner of this. It's going to be a point system. The point will be awarded per card using the following method. Plus one point for every predicted card, but not predicted correctly in its placement on the list. Plus two points for every correctly predicted card. Minus one point for every card that was a part of the prediction but was not a part of the ban list. And finally, minus two points for every card that was part of the ban list but was not a part of the prediction. The total score the prediction gets will be the sum of all the points earned during this method. In order to adjust for the size of the predicted list, the winner will not be decided by the total sum of the points, but by points per card. Now that the rules have been explained, I would like to introduce, as always, our <coughs> willing candidates for the title of the King of the Ban List, fighting for the right to sit on the Ban List throne. Here they are in alphabetical order. Please note that the subscriber count might not be accurate. Now, this is the part in which I proceed to show you how Jekyll from the past reacted to the ban list. However, this time around, since the site wouldn't load due to traffic and doing this with Twitter screenshots is kinda lame, this section will be skipped this time around. I... I hope you'll understand. Now that all the candidates were introduced, let's see whose prediction was the most accurate. Before we do that, a quick scroll over the list of everyone who didn't make it to the podium. So now, uh, let's get on to this. In the third place with the title of the second Battlelist Vizier, Just Nuts Production with minus 0.95 points per card. 
Congratulations! The silver medal and the title of the first battleist vizier goes to Dueling Savage, whose prediction got minus 0 0.85 point per card. Now is the moment everyone has been waiting for. The person who will be sitting on the battleist throne, at least until October, the winner of this competition? With minus 0 0.79 points per card, I present you Clank Yu-Gi-Oh! Hail to the king, baby! Congratulations to our king, let his reign be long and prosperous. I have to thank everyone who <clears throat> willingly participated in this debacle and once again, long live the king. I urge you to subscribe to all our participants, especially our king, Clank Yu-Gi-Oh. Tell him I've sent you and bow before the king. With that, we're wrapping this season of King of the Ban List. Sometimes I wonder, will there ever be a person who's able to be the king for more than one season? Only time will tell. I've been Jacolo, your boundless jester, and I'm signing out. Peace?